Hello and welcome to our AFT Impulse 9 Quick Start Video Tutorial Series, Video 1. In this video, we are going to discuss the status light, analysis setup, and blue highlighting. These features will serve as a guide to tell you what to complete to run a model and obtain results. The first thing you should pay attention to is the status light in the bottom right corner of the screen. To run the model, you need to turn the status light from red to green. By clicking the status light, you can open the analysis setup, which displays the groups that you need to complete to run a model. Analysis setup consists of groups, items, and panels. Groups are the top level, modules, fluid properties, pipes and junctions, etc. Expand a group to see the items in that group. For instance, the fluid properties group has items for fluid, viscosity model, variable fluids, and laminar and non-Newtonian corrections. Click an item to open that item's panel. Clicking the fluid item opens the fluid panel displayed in the main area of analysis setup. Groups and items with a green check mark are complete. Groups and items with a red exclamation point are incomplete and require input from the user. The first undefined group is the fluid properties group. This is where you define the fluid information. As you can see, the default fluid option is a user-specified fluid. The minimal required input to fully define a fluid for a transient simulation is density, dynamic viscosity, and bulk modulus. Any required field that you see has blue highlighting and a red exclamation point. You can change the units from the drop-down menus. Specify appropriate values for water, such as one specific gravity of water for density, one centipoise for dynamic viscosity, and 318,000 PSIA for bulk modulus in the respective fields to fully specify the fluid properties. We now have a green check mark that shows the fluid properties group is complete. The next undefined group is the pipes and junctions group. Two pipes and three junctions are already on the workspace, but they are undefined. The pipes and junctions group lists the undefined pipes and undefined junctions. We can also see this list from the workspace by clicking OK to save and close analysis setup, then clicking the List Undefined Objects button on the toolbar. The list of undefined pipes and undefined junctions now appears on the right. When clicking a pipe or junction in the undefined objects list, the bottom section displays which required input is missing. It also moves the model to the location of that pipe or junction and will select the object on the workspace. This way, you are never left guessing what you need to specify in terms of input data. Additionally, by clicking the Show Object Status button on the toolbar, the label of all undefined objects will become red. With a pipe or junction selected on the workspace, press Enter or double-click the object to open the Properties window for that pipe or junction. The Properties window is where you enter input information. And again, follow the blue highlighting which indicates required input fields. After defining all the objects, the Pipes and Junctions group in Analysis Setup will have a green check mark next to its name. Here's an example of a model with all the groups in Analysis Setup defined. Note that the Pipe Sectioning and Output group and the Transient Control group have been defined. These two groups do not need to be defined if the simulation mode is set to Steady only. However, to run the model in Transient mode, these groups do need to be defined. These groups will be discussed in more detail in video 4. Now that all the groups in analysis setup are fully defined, the status light is green and the model can run with the Run Model button on the main toolbar. In summary, the status light, analysis setup, and blue highlighting serve as a guide to help you make sure your model is complete before running it. Use the status light to see if your model is ready to run. Click the status light to open analysis setup and see the groups that are still undefined. Use the blue highlighting to define the missing required input information. Once all the required fields have input, then all the groups in analysis setup will have a green check mark and the status light will turn green. You can then run your model and examine your results. Thank you for watching, and feel free to refer to the other topics in our AFT Impulse 9 Quick Start Video Tutorial Series.